And illegal mining activities in the Takwa in Swahim municipality in the western region continue to pollute water bodies. Some miners have attributed their persistent crude extraction activities to the delay by the Interministerial Committee on Mining to launch the community mining program. In December 2018, government lifted the ban on small-scale mining that lasted more than a year after plans were reached to introduce the community mining concept. The ban was lifted at a time when almost all polluted water bodies have not regained their purity. The Takwa Isoe municipality is one of the mining zones, although large-scale mining firms have legitimately secured concessions, activities of illegal miners arrive and constantly affecting water bodies. The river Bonsan, which is the major source of water supply, continues to be under threat as some illegal miners conduct alluvial mining in it. A group engaging in the act abandoned their equipment and went into hiding after realizing the news team's presence. The illegal mining site is about 50 meters from a community mining concession. Some believe the tax force commissioned to keep the illegal mining activities has not done much. General Manager of the Ragus Engineering Services Limited, Mark Oduhinikundia, believes attacking unseasoned mining equipment of the illegal miners is a wrong approach to the fight. I mean, I'm saying the truth, a lot of people are still engaging in Galamsey. But the Antakil problem now say yes, we'll always go after them. Yeah, go chill, we go yo, we see, we say, we know more. At the end of the day, no, so no. The best thing I go back, I go back So let's call all of them, integrate them, let's educate them, let them know why it is very important to stop this Galamsey and then partake in this community mining. Now, at the end of the day, no, you need to me achieve your common purpose. The Takwan Soe Municipal Assembly has registered more than 4,000 miners for the community mining program of which Ragus Engineering Services is one. With two separate concessions spanning over 50 hectares, more than 100 workers have been offered employment. Rock and Colluvia mining are the mode of extraction here. Special conduit has been created which enable water drawn from the river Bunsa to be recycled. Work is briskly ongoing even though the Interministerial Committee has not issued license to anyone to commence operation. So sometimes some people will say, oh, I've had a letter from um, the municipal chief executive, so it means I have license to mine. No, it doesn't give you the license to mine. You bring your site and then we check and forward it to the Interministerial Committee. Some miners say delaying the launch of the community mining program is the main reason some residents are still involved in the illegal mining. The community mining automatically makes provision to benefit every stakeholder.